Millionaire mindset, wealth principle number two. Think needs, not money. Please say it together. Think needs, not money. If you chase money, it's very difficult to get money. Chase needs, it's easy to make money. Think needs, not money. Here's a little interesting cartoon. The $100 bill having a conversation with the $1 bill. The $100 bill said, you know, I had a good life. Nice house, fast cars, great vacations, and expensive restaurants. The $1 bill said, all I ever did was to go to church. Go to church and go to church. A $100 bill said, what's a church? What's a church? You want to give. You want to donate to charity. You want to give to your church. Whatever religions you believe in. Make more so you could give more. Versus everybody putting a couple dollars in the damn hat. What if you could make enough money, you could donate more money than the whole damn church at together? Hmm? Think about it, the impact that you'll have. Uh, here's a great statement uh, by the wife. It's a little bit long, but I'll read it to you. It's by the wife of uh, Elon Musk. How many of you heard of Elon Musk? Yeah. So Elon Musk, and one guy was asking, hey, you know, what does it take if I work hard enough, if I put effort into it, uh, can I become a millionaire too? Like, I really want to become a, no, a billionaire, she said. Can I become a billionaire if I work hard enough and put my effort and work hard for it? And here's what she replied. She offered some advice. Shift your focus away from what you want, a billion dollars, and get deeply, intensely curious about what the world wants and needs. Ask yourself what you have the potential to offer that is so unique and compelling and helpful that no computer could replace you, no one could outsource you, no one could steal your product and make it better, then club you into abbreviation, not literally, then develop that potential. Choose one thing. How many things? One, one thing. And become a master of it. Choose a second thing and become a master of that. When you become a master of two worlds, say engineering and business, you can bring them together in a way that will introduce a hot ideas to each other. So you can have idea sex and make idea babies that no one else has seen before. And B, create a competitive advantage because you can move between the worlds, speak both languages, connect the tribes, match the elements to spark fresh creative insight until you wake up with the epiphany that changes your life. The world doesn't throw a billion dollars at a person because the person wants it or works so hard they feel they deserve it. The world does not care. What's the word? Care. The world does not care what you want or deserve. The world gives you money in exchange for something it perceives to be of equal of, or greater value. Something that transforms an aspect of the culture, reworks a familiar story, or introduces a new one, alters the way people think about the category and make use of it in daily life. There's no roadmap, no blueprint for this. A lot of people will give you a lot of advice, and most of it will be bad, and a lot of it will be good and sound, but you will have to figure out how it doesn't apply to you because you are coming from an unexpected angle. And you will be doing it alone until you develop the charisma and credibility to attract the talent you need to come with you. Have courage, you will need it, and good luck, you will need that too. A round of applause. That's one smart wife. That pretty much sums it all. That just pretty much, when I read that article, I'm like, 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 it is so good. It is like, wow. Like, whew. My goodness. Imagine that's how smart the wife is. Elon Musk, my goodness. There's a saying, behind every successful man is a smarter wife. It's very true. It's very true. How many of you uh, have heard of The Secret? How many have read The Secret? What is The Secret about? Love attraction. Yes? Love attraction. So here's what the law of attraction says. You become what you think and that your conscious uh, and your unconscious thoughts make your reality, right? You become what you think about. That's what the law of attraction talks about. I had a roommate that read this book. Yes. And she just thought that she just had to think and not do anything. And yes. Good things would come to her. You just have to think and not have to do anything. Good things will come to you, right? That's it. You see, how many of you have th uh, heard of Think and Grow Rich? How many have not heard of Think and Grow Rich? Go read it, okay, by Napoleon Hill. 
Notice the, the, the title, we say it together. Think, not visualize and grow rich, not sit around and do nothing and go rich, not hope and grow rich, is think. And people think in terms of, oh, I just think hard enough. That's not what the book is about. The book is talking about intellect, being smart, being focused. That's what the book is about. People misread, oh, think and roll, I just need to think. Don't need to do shit, I just think. A lot of thinking gets you nothing. Nothing. And there's a great book that I also like, The Millionaire Fastlane uh, by MJ uh, DeMarco. And there's so many philosophies within the book that I resonate with. Kind of similar to my book, F You Money. Uh, thinking alone never made anybody rich, unless that thinking manifests itself into consistent action. What are the two key words? What are two key words? What kind of action? Consistent action. Toward application of laws that work. That work. Scale creates millionaires. Magnitude creates millionaires. What is scale? Volume. Volume. You want to make millions? Sell millions of something. Magnitude. Depth, transaction size. Sell a $2 million thing, $5 million thing, $10 million thing. That also could also make, be a millionaire. Scale and magnitude together create billionaires. You will trace the source of millionaire money and you will find millions of something. To make it simple and short, you want to make millions, impact millions. It's very simple. You're not making the money that you want, look at how many people you're impacting. Just look at the result. You're impacting, if you're working for a boss, you have a job, you're impacting that one person, you're working for that one person, that limits how much value you deliver in the marketplace. Tough to be a millionaire doing that, yes? As an entrepreneur, if you're providing a service, you only work with, unless you have a lot of magnitude, you charge a lot of money, then it's tough to be a millionaire. You think in terms of you sell something, you sell to millions of people, yes, that's how you get there. So we trace the source of millionaire money and you find millions of something. Forget the law of attraction, the law of affection. The law of what? Affection. How many people you affect? States, the more lives you affect in an entity that you control in scale or in magnitude, the richer you will become. The law of affection. See if you have something that are impacting millions of people. You could have a negative attitude. You will make millions. Are there people making millions that as an absolute jerk? Let me ask you a question. Are there people making millions that are the nicest people you've ever met? Money does not care. Money doesn't have a conscience. It, it's, it has, doesn't have a, a moral. That you're a bad person, I'm not going to let you have me. Or you're a good person, I'm going to let you have some more. There's some of the nicest kindest people that I know, completely broke. There are also people who are very, very kind, very nice, very rich. It's nothing to do with, with each other, okay? Law of affection. Before I go into that, take two minutes. How long? Discuss the first two principles, the first one and the second one. Okay, go. Stop. Okay, David, music. Shake their hand and say thank you for sharing, please. So share with me, uh, just yell the answer. Aha moments, what it means to you, just the first two principles. What it means for you. What it means for you. Circulation? Yeah, it's, it's like circulation. So um, it helps with my investment mindset. Like, the only way I'm going to make money is if I give it. And yeah, it's just kind of how I understand. Sometimes you think about it with economy, what causes economy downturn is what? A lack of what? Circulation. Lack of circulation. Yeah. You hear it from the government. If you want to help the economy from the US before, right? You know, you want to help the economy, go out there, you spend. Circulate, circulate. Now, am I saying you don't want to save any money? No, 
you gotta go through that stage. When you save enough, you wanna invest, you wanna multiply. But first you gotta master just like making it. You're good at it. It's, it's, it's maybe for some of you it's difficult to believe. Making it is actually pretty damn easy. If you're actually good, just, just take, take my word. Making it once you get how it works, because most of the time making it is a function of sales and marketing. You get sales and marketing, money comes. Keeping it and multiplying it is way harder. Way, way harder. Way harder. Okay? Earl knows. <laughs> I go to the mic, man. You gotta share your story. You give Earl a round of applause. Like give, give it like a one minute version of it. What, what the hell happened? Hi guys, my name is Earl. Hi hey, Earl. Hey, so the, the quick story. Uh, if you want the longer version, I'm doing a longer version on the 23rd. 23rd, yeah. So uh, I, I tell the story of how I, how I made a bunch of money. So I, I made a $40 million empire and then I fucked up and then I lost it all. Uh, 2008 hit me more than it hit lots of other people. And uh, yeah, and how I'm rebuilding stuff. And actually, it's it's funny. One of those uh, one of those things you talked about, uh, number three, right? Uh, not worthy. Uh, it's funny. I sent you an email. Mm. Uh, this is almost a year ago. Yeah. And I I was in that stage, not feeling not worthy, right? I mean, I made a million bucks. It's easy to do. Actually, the funny thing is, it it Dan picked me up. He he said, you don't have to hit a certain level to work with me again. It wasn't a question of worthiness. You're my friend, I want to help you anyway. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. And the funny thing is, when I finally decided to get off my ass, uh, 60 days, six figures. Six months, seven figures. I report back to Dan every week, hey, this is what I'm doing. And the first couple updates were sexy, hey, look at this, look at this, look at this. The last couple updates, not sexy, but consistent action. Mm. Right, but that's it. So yeah, yeah you, you can make it, making it stupid easy. I, I actually stopped selling and I'm making more sales now than I was when I was selling. So the sales and marketing function, yeah, 100%. Right, but keeping it is a bitch. Mm. So I like that quote, making it is easy, keeping it is a bitch. That's when you're writing this down? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> put, put that on Facebook, I like that, tweet that. 10 times your finances, 10 times your business, 10 times your marketing, 10 times your life. Hit the subscribe button now.